Hey everybody, Jen here of Gen X Website Design and Strategy, bringing you lots of helpful tips and advice for your Squarespace website, website strategy, and online tech. So I've been talking a lot lately about blogging, and since I'm on a roll, why stop now? What I want to show you today is how to create your own blog landing page in Squarespace. Right now, I'm just using the landing page that is automatically generated when you add a blog to your website. But there are some problems with it. You don't really have the ability to organize your blog posts by category or tag or featured posts. And it only auto populates up to 20 blog posts in chronological order, starting with the most recent and working backwards. So not all of my blogs are even showing up on the blog landing page. Also, the way I have mine configured is in rows of three, which doesn't divide into 20 evenly. So we've all heard the phrase that cobbler's kids have no shoes. I think you know where I'm headed with this. If you're a website designer like I am, you're doing all these great things for your clients, but you're neglecting your own website. Guilty. So today I am going to create my own blog landing page in Squarespace, and I'm going to show you how to do it too. Okay, so here I am on my website, and this is the blog, and I'm going into edit mode, and I'm going to add a section, and I'm going to add a blank section, and I'm going to select edit section. I'm just going to choose the color theme that I want. Then I'm going to add block and just add some text. Okay, this seems like a good start. So now what I'm going to do is add a summary block. So I'm selecting summary. I'm just going to move this around a little bit. I'm going to edit the summary block. First, I'm going to select the page and I'm going to select my blog. I'm going to determine what I want to show up for primary metadata. I actually don't want anything to show up personally, but you may want date posted, category tags, author, pretty self-explanatory there. I also don't have any secondary metadata, but the options are the same here. But I am going to filter these items by choosing a category. So why not choose blogging? Inserting an afterthought here, you can also choose to sort your blog posts by tag instead of category if you want to, which I actually did down here for CSS and coding. I chose eight different tags because I know that I talk about CSS and coding in these particular blog posts. If you had some featured posts, which sometimes people like to categorize their most popular posts as featured posts and then list those first, you would toggle this on. I don't actually have any, but I can show you how to do that in a moment. So now I'm going into design and I'm going to choose the carousel layout, but there are other layouts. You can choose list, grid, wall but I just like how neat and tidy the carousel layout is. And you can decide how many items you want in here. I'm just gonna max it out. I know I don't have 30 blog posts in this category, but if I did, I think I'd want them all here. And I'm going to determine how many items I want per row. You can have up to five. Choose what size you want the thumbnail image to show up in. You can choose the size of the text here. But if you're like me, you don't want any text. I definitely want the featured image because I actually have the blog post title on my featured image and I'm toggling off excerpt. You can toggle on the read more link. You're going to notice mine doesn't show up. I think I added some code to actually remove it. Now for the header text, it's this tiny text right here. You can see how this says featured and this says featured. Just delete it because you're going to add your own text. So this is a great start. I'm going to move this down a little bit, and then I'm going to add my own heading above this summary block. Add some text, center it, and then you just entitle it whatever you want. Before I go any further, let me show you how to go into the settings and select featured posts. So I'm going up to my blog, and let's just say you have a handful of posts that you know are your most popular posts. You'll go into the settings for that post. Go into options and then toggle on featured post and save. Okay, so let's say you decided to go in and mark some of your most popular blog posts as featured blog posts. Then you can add right at the top of your blog landing page those featured blog posts. And this is how I recommend doing it. I'm going to select this title and this summary block. I'm just going to scoot it down. Then I'm going to duplicate it. 
and drag this up. I just saved myself a bunch of time. You can change this to read something like popular blog posts, and then you can just edit this summary block by filtering it to featured only. And I only selected three. So now I'm going to change the design to show three instead of five. Another idea is to highlight your most recent blog posts at the top of your page. And in that case, you would have this summary block not filtered at all, and it will automatically pull in the most recent blog posts. And maybe I'll just add a line in here to make it look a little bit neater. So just add your summary blocks based on how you want to organize your blog. And the easiest way to add more summary blocks is to just select the title and the summary block and duplicate it, move it down, change the title, to reflect the category and filter the category. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added all of my topics and sorted my blog posts by topic. And it makes it actually look like I have a lot more blog posts than I actually do because some of these blog posts appear in more than one summary block, but don't tell anybody. So now when people come to my website and they land on my blog, it's going to look like this with this at the bottom, which is much better, I think. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you did, please give this video a like, maybe share it, subscribe to my channel, and most of all, have fun with your Squarespace website.